school video from school. So these ones are a bit different because if you look at the code here, and I have to give you a little bit of background for this to make any sense at all. But if you look at this code, the files come in differently. You might not even be able to tell, but you can see it says stream.video. So when these things load, they load in as a stream. It's called M3U8. Most videos or you know, the videos you're used to are just like a file and they're just playing. These come in like little files. So we can't just like download them. That's why the extension doesn't work on them at the moment, but I just figured it out. So here's the explainer. M3U8 file is a playlist format for live streaming. Okay, HLS file. So if you ever see that error, that's the same thing. So instead of being a single file, it's like a bunch of little files that are flying in and the, the browser and the media player in the browser know how to play them. So what you're used to is like an MP4 or an MOV or something. And this is like a bunch of mini files flying in streaming. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is to download this, we are going to, we're gonna intercept the video player's master playlist URL. Because when this video starts playing, the browser has to get some information about what's going on. So we're gonna go here to the network tab where we can see all of the requests that are coming in. Uh, asking for the page to load, asking for the files, asking for the stream, whatever. And we're going to intercept that. And then we are going to use a tool called FFMPEG to, to take the whole stream, intercept all of the little streams, download them on your computer, and then piece them together into a video format. Um, and this is like a precursor to how I'm going to show you guys how to bulk download an entire school classroom with like, but I'm not going to get ahead of myself. So the first thing you need is you need FFMPEG. And I'm not going to go into how to install that like in much detail here. But what I will say is if you installed Homebrew before, so you could get YTDLP, it's kind of the same thing. So if you have homebrew, you would do brew install FMPEG. Okay, and once you have it, you can check on a Mac by typing which FFMPEG, and you can see I have it here on my Mac here, okay? So once you have FFMPEG, fuck, I hate saying that. It's like so hard to say. Once you have that, this is what we're gonna do. And you have to do it kind of fast because the token that this thing comes with, it's going to require uh, a token. It's going to require authentication. So it, it checks to make sure that you're like a real person and, and those things expire this in this case kind of quickly. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to open the player to the video where you want uh, in school, where you want to get it from. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to click inspect. It's going to bring you here. Click on this network tab. I'll try and make it bigger. Click on this network tab thing. Make sure that this preserve log button is checked. In this filter, type M3U8. Okay, now you're gonna refresh the page and you're probably not gonna see anything. But once you click the video, you're gonna see some things pop up here. And this is the network getting files from the server and what's going to happen is we're going to have this code ready. And you see this little thing that says replace me? That's what we're going to be replacing. So as soon as I click this video, that's going to trigger the request to start streaming the video file, streaming in those little things. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the master playlist request file. We're going to right click it and we're going to copy something out of it, which is going to end up looking something like this. And what we have to do is we have to take the URL out of that, which is this part in between those little quotes. We have to copy it and then we have to paste it. Well, not like that. 
paste it in there. And then we have to grab this, go to our terminal, paste it in there and hit enter before it expires. Might take a few tries before you figure it out, but I'm just gonna walk through, okay? Here we go. I think I can get these both on the same screen anyways. Okay, so you have this thing ready here. You can leave your cursor in it, whatever it is you wanna do, it doesn't matter. And I'm just gonna delete that. I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Okay, so right click, inspect, network. Type M3U8 in here, hit refresh. And as soon as I hit this video file, well, I won't do it the first time, but I hit this video file and you see some stuff is coming in here, right? You see a couple of them. This stream one is the one you wanna right click on, go to copy and choose copy as CURL, copy as curl. And then when I paste that in here, you're gonna see it kind of looks like that thing that we had before, right? And what we want is this URL in between these things to go right there. And then we wanna take this command, come over here, paste it in and hit enter. And you can see chunk, 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 chunk. It's opening all those chunks. And here we go. Está muy corto, pero es super importante. Por you just intercepted a video stream and all of its chunks, downloaded them, pieced them together with the audio, and now you have a playable audio file on your computer. So is this a manual process? Yes. We will end up building this into the extension and other methods later, but I just wanted to give it to you now because some of you with dexterous fingers might be able to just pull this thing off. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions. Um, I don't really feel like f answering questions about things that aren't specifically related to this, like how to install FFmpeg. That's not what this video is about. I can do another one later, but short answer is if you're on Windows, uh, figure it out. If you're on Mac, just go to brew.sh, download homebrew, just download it. And then you can use homebrew to install FFmpeg. On Windows, it's basically the same thing. I just don't know what the package managers are. Um, but that's how you do it. That's how you download school videos from school for free by intercepting the M3U8 URLs. Good luck.